Hi everyone, Dr. Nimchek here. I want to talk about uh, a nice recovery from COVID we had. Uh, this is a gentleman, uh, Mitch. He's 51 years old when he came and saw us. Uh, we first saw him last October of 2023. Now, September of 2022, Mitch uh, had COVID, not particularly bad symptoms, but he noticed right afterwards, he was uh, fatigued, starting to get a little lightheaded, um, having, starting to have diarrhea and constipation where he never had any of those kind of issues before. And um, he goes and sees some doctors, they can't figure anything out, you know, all the basic lab work, scans, stuff, all that kind of stuff ends up being normal. And this just keeps uh, worsening. And he had read about some of our work and uh, couldn't get his hands on any refreshment right away. So he just starts the high dose DHA fish oil as well as olive oil. And uh, he starts feeling better. He, he said he was noticing he was having, uh, starting to have more good days than bad days as he put it. And, uh, but the intestinal issues were still there. They hadn't Im improved at all. Uh, and so he's going along. This is now spring of 2023, doing a little bit better. And then bam, gets COVID again. Poor guy, July, 2023. Now, dramatically worse, um, really lightheaded, super fatigue, bad headache. I mean, if he was upright most of the day, he said he'd have a crushing headache by the afternoon. And uh, the diarrhea is worse. Now, a wide range of foods, uh, particularly eggs, like you would eat, you have just voluminous diarrhea. And he'd never had this kind of stuff before. And uh, uh, he starts having vision problems. And the, initially, the visual exams, they can't really figure out uh, what was going on. This actually started a little bit after the first COVID event. And then finally, they see he's got a posterior retinal detachment that's occurring. So that's a little uh, worrisome. Uh, he finally comes on down to see us. So we see him in October of 2023. Um, you know, my approach is basically with all these long haulers, COVID long haulers, they've almost every single one of them has got bacterial overgrowth. And we, so we put them on Rifaximin. People are like, well, how do you know they have bacterial overgrowth? Because I do, because they respond to Rifaximin. They have a dramatic improvement when you put them on that. That's the only thing Rifaximin treats is bacterial overgrowth in the small intestine. Now that might be called, if you look at the package insert, it might be called IBS with diarrhea, or it might be called hepatic encephalopathy, or uh, Clostridium difficile enterocolitis, or C. diff. Okay, they're all bacterial overgrowth. It's the only thing Rifaximin can treat. So if you respond to that, a very high likelihood that you have SIBO, okay? So we put him on that very quickly. A lot of the intestinal stuff starts calming down. He's also on high dose DHA concentrated fish oil because the DHA fragment of omega-3s, that's the only omega-3 that gets in your brain. And omega-3s are your natural off switch for inflammation, okay? They're the chemicals you need to turn off inflammation. So we give him that. He's on the olive oil to protect him from just uh, additional inflammation from the vegetable oils and the food supply. And uh, because of the severity of his symptoms, his retinal uh, detachment, uh, we issued him a vagus nerve stimulator out of the office. Uh, he was using that two hours a day. So all that's around October. We see him uh, about four months later in January, lots better. Uh, all sorts of things moving forward. As I mentioned, the diarrhea is a lot better and he's plugging away. Um, now it's around this time we've been doing more work with looking at the secondary forms of uh, leaky gut caused by COVID. And I have other videos to talk about that. This other form of leaky gut will not be repaired uh, with the use of Rifaximin. And so it requires an amino acid called glutamine. It's very safe to take. Um, now you can't get extra glutamine in your diet by eating more protein, even though it's in the protein, but when you cook the protein, glutamine uniquely gets destroyed. So you lose most of it when you cook it. And so he takes uh, from Now Sports, uh, 
oral glutamine, it's a powder. You need a tablespoon twice a day, don't buy the capsules. So your total dose for an adult is estimated to be about 30 grams of glutamine a day and it needs to be like twice a day. You know, you can't do it all at once. And the biggest capsules there are are only one gram capsule. So that would be 30 capsules a day. Don't just get the powder, mix it in some orange juice. It's really pretty harmless stuff in terms of taste and whatever. And once we added that, uh, along, so he's still on the Refexman twice a day, every day, the fish oil, the olive oil, and the vagal stimulator. He said it was fairly dramatic uh, over the next couple of weeks how much better he improved. The leaky gut can heal very quickly. Those cells that line the small intestine are the fastest replicating cells in the body about every four days. The, these are called enterocytes. That's the cells that line the intestine. Uh, and if they're the fastest replicating cells, uh, it generally follows they're the fastest healing cells in the body. And so he, he said he could tell very quickly that things were shifting in, in a positive way. So we saw him recently. He's pretty much, he says he feels as good as he's felt in a long time, pre-COVID even. Uh, his vision seems to be, as far as he can tell, uh, recovered. Uh, he hasn't done his follow-up yet, uh, most recently with his retinal expert. So we're keeping him on the fish oil and the olive oil. That's a long-term uh, part of his regimen because that's just going to protect you against this ongoing inflammatory risk out of the food supply. Uh, we've shifted him to just intermittent uh, refactorment. And what that means is he just stops. He's been on continuous this whole time because he was just so sick and we were worried about the inflammatory threat to his vision that we stopped it and what he's going to do is if some of the food intolerance and diarrhea kind of slowly starts coming back it'll only take 10 days of rifaximin and uh, that might be in three months or six months and just intermittently he'll need that and then the vagal stimulator I've suggested he continue that uh, for at least a few more months until we get a really good you know report about the retina and uh, I'm just kind of concerned about that. And then even with that, I've said, you know, you may want to, you know, if you get a good retinal eye exam, if you stop the VNS to go maybe a month or two later, get a retinal exam again and make sure it's not starting to deteriorate. The VNS is very powerful at controlling inflammation, especially within the central nervous system. So uh, we're, we're gonna kind of just play that by ear the older patients get, once you're in the 50s, especially 60 and above, most all the patients need to maintain their recovery with a little bit of VNS uh, every day or a few days a week to help kind of keep them where they are. So really great case, uh, you know, covers a lot of different principles in COVID and something that most of you can replicate at home. So good luck to everybody. Oh, and if, you, if you're having trouble getting rifaximin, having trouble with like trying to figure out how to do Vegas nerve stimulation. Short flight to uh, Arizona, and then we can do all your follow-ups by Skype uh, uh, during your, your uh, recovery. That's all for now. Everybody have a great day. Bye.